Jay Cluddington here at HP Discover, and I'm here with Brent Allen. And you guys announced some interesting new things in Converge Systems. You want to give me a little breakdown of what's been going on? Oh, sure. Uh, we've been on this road for quite a while now. Um, we actually started with the our Converge Systems for Virtualization launch back at Discover um, previous year in Barcelona um, in December. And uh, that was really the start of our move into the big uh, Converge Systems space coming from you know, where we've been with Virtual System and some of those uh, platforms in the past. It's been a big leapfrog for us and we've actually um, just launched uh, new updates to our Converge System portfolio out here at, uh, at Discover here in Las Vegas. So, super excited. What are some of those updates and, and particularly like what's significant about them? Sure, absolutely. So we've been doing things um, across a variety of areas. Um, so uh, our, you know, customer uh, elevation as far as the actual uh, life cycle uh, of these products is very important to us. And you know, making these things faster. Uh, you know, we've done some performance updates on the systems. There's also uh, been a big automation update. So I'm sure you all are familiar with HP OneView. Uh, HP OneView 1.1 just came out as well, and so we've rolled that into our systems. So we have uh, that full uh, automation set there. In fact, as a kind of additional proof point, we're actually using HP OneView to automate the buildup of these systems inside of the factory. Um, we're doing additional workload optimization on top of the systems, and so I think uh, back in December, I probably talked to you a little bit about our HP App Map portfolio. Um, we've continued to build that out with new applications. Uh, reference architecture on top of the Converge systems. Um, and as part of that, we've got um, a new VDI reference architecture or, or app map uh, for Zen Desktop. We've also got one for um, SQL uh, 14, which we think is gonna be really important uh, for the portfolio. And then kind of in that continued expanding ecosystem view, we've also got uh, new uh, architectures for backup and recovery that we've done both inside of HP with uh, HP Data Protector. Uh, as well as a lot of our good partners. Uh, we've got one with uh, Veeam and one with Commvault. Um, so that just a few you know, things uh, that we're updating uh, there in the portfolio and then on into cloud as well. So um, HP Cloud System, they have a new update out as well. And that, cl and that cloud system update actually fits uh, on top of our uh, Converge system for virtualization sharks, right? So Customers can start with a virtual environment, and then when they're ready to go to cloud, we have a seamless upgrade path into the new cloud system uh, orchestration environment. And so they can, they can roll that in at their leisure, or uh, of course we've also optimized these systems to be able to work with uh, both uh, VMware's cloud as well as Microsoft. So lots so, of updates. <laughs> so one of the things that, that, I mean, sharks is a, a word that's getting thrown around a lot here. Yep. What, what exactly does that mean? Because I, I, I hear it referenced in lots of different contexts and yep. and I think it may be a little confusing. Oh yeah, absolutely. So um, the sharks is a, a street uh, slang that we use uh, for our converged systems. Uh, the intent of a, a shark and, and what we're really driving there is a purpose-built workload optimized system that provides speed and agility on a number of different levels. Everything from the actual system architecture itself and being able to optimize and tune that environment to also how we roll that out into customer uh, environments and integrate that into their data center as well as the whole lifecycle management around it. Um, so we've actually even set up a center of excellence inside of our technology services division, specific for Converge systems and cloud system. So you know, all of our support calls go straight through that. It becomes you know, really one, one throat to choke or one neck to hug, if you will. Um, and uh, we actually have some additional updates as well that we're rolling into the Converge system portfolio as part of these sharks where we're now able to do system level um, IRS, so insight remote support. Um, and uh, a new technology that we have in there that we're utilizing called Proactive Scan. So our technology services division can continue to scan the system, understand firmware levels and all those kind of things, um, ensure that uh, the customer is in a compliant state. If they're not, if the configuration is drifted somehow, they will work with the customer to actually get them to that standardized recipe. We're rolling out standardized firmware and patching recipes on a regular cadence. And so, you know, all that is there for the customer. and that's. Part of the dynamic of what we consider a shark um, is really this workload tune package. So it's kind of a it's an all-encompassing end-to-end solution. It absolutely, um, you know, with additionally with standardized expansion, so the customer can grow in a balanced state across the data center. Um, you just continue to plug them in, and you know, they're you know, 
performance optimized. Um, the intent of the, the shark thing is that you know sharks never sleep. Sharks are tuned uh, to do what they do. They've been around for million, millions of years as some of the most, um, uh, some of the best hunters in the world. And these systems are designed to hunt uh, for the particular workload or environment that they're going after. In the case of Converge Systems for Virtualization, specifically for virtualization. And that virtualization piece seems to be something that's, that's an undercurrent of all of this, because I'm hearing you uh, talk about like the integration with VMware. I'm hearing you talk about Veeam, which is, is obviously yeah. a uh, kind of a deep dive into whatever your virtualization solution happens to be. Um, tell me a little bit more about that. Yeah, absolutely. So, um, of course, we see uh, a virtualization environment is a platform to build on top of. Um, that's one of the reasons we're continuing to expand the app map portfolio with a number of different workloads that we've heavily tested on these systems. Um, the, the Veeam example is a, a great one where we're doing specific integrations based on virtualization for virtualization for backup and recovery. Um, but we also see this as a stepping stone in our customer's journey to the cloud, right? Whether that's HP Cloud or, or with a partner organization. Um, in addition, actually, now that you mention uh, you know, some of the integrations with VMware, inside of these new packages, we're actually also rolling out um, a VCOPS integration with HP OneView. So now, already stood up in the factory, before it ever gets to the customer site, there's deep integration all the way through vCenter Operations Manager and some of the other pieces associated with that package. Um, providing everything in a single dashboard uh, inside of the environment, inside of uh, you know, your, your vCenter context, and um, you, know, you get both the physical and the virtual full management capability you know, right there. So it's pretty incredible. Wow, so this really is kind of a, a true convergence. I mean, Converge Systems started out at, at one point and we really are converging lots and lots of things together. We're continuing to converge. It, it really is a data center play, right? I mean, it's, it's all about um, a new way of doing IT, the new style of IT. This is the, really the embodiment of that slogan in that we are making huge moves in convergence that really wrap all of these pieces into very nice, tight packages that customers can very easily deploy inside of their environments, and then end-to-end -end management as it goes forward you know, throughout the entire lifecycle. Right? And uh, so it'll continue to evolve. I'm really excited about all the stuff that we're going to be able to do um, as we, you know, today that we have now and as we go forward. All right. Well, thanks, Brent. All right. Great. Thanks, Jake.